little planning now can reduce a lot of stress later. Our next guest is going to show us some make-ahead appetizers for the holidays. Chef Sherry Swanson joins us now. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. So we're getting into the holiday spirit. Yes, we are. <laughs> and we're making hors d'oeuvres today? Yes. Well, we're going to make a risotto cake, but what I do, I like to start planning at the beginning of December, and I mix it in with my, my meals, because I love to have risotto when it's really cold outside. So I start off, and I make a double batch of risotto. I take the second half of it, and I put it in the refrigerator right away so we don't eat it. Ah. Um, and then I make the risotto cakes, and they're perfect because you can, bake, you can uh, cook them off and then throw them in the freezer and pull them out anytime you want. Easy. Okay. So Plan ahead. So we're going to start with the risotto. Really simple, just like any other risotto. You put a little bit of shallot in the pan. And you use a borio rice. Or right? borio rice, exactly. You can find that can in most of the grocery stores. Can you use another type of rice, but you really recommend a borio yes, rice? Yes, you want a short grain rice that has a lot of starch. So as you stir it, the starch comes out and it makes it really creamy. Risotto isn't made with any cream, or shouldn't be. Um, the creaminess comes just from the starch of the rice. Okay, so you put salt and, and those are Salt in the, um, and the shallots. Shallots. And then shallots. the arborio rice. <laughs> and you want to toast it up a little bit. And then when all the grains are coated nicely with the oil and toasted up nicely, we're going to put some wine in there. My favorite part. How much wine did you just and put in And any particular there? kind. Uh, I like a white wine that has a little bit of acid behind it, so something that's a little bit tart, not mm -hmm. too sweet. And you about just want to cut cup, that down. A cup about a hand. cup. About a cup. I just pour it in until it looks right. <laughs> <laughs> and then you want to reduce that down, and you'll keep adding stock and adding stock. It'll take about 25 until minutes. Until it gets really creamy? Until it gets really creamy. You're going to stir. You're going to go open up a bottle of wine, pour yourself a glass of wine, drink your wine, and... Hang out in the kitchen. Exactly. Enjoy okay. yourself. So you say this is stock. This and is this is a little bit of chicken stock. Chicken stock. So I'm going to keep pouring it in, and then when it's all done and it's al dente, that means to the tooth, it has a little bit of bite left, I'm going to add some, excuse me, some Parmesan cheese, and then I'm going to cool it. Then once it's cooled, we have this over here. Right here, I refrigerated that, and then I just use this little cookie scooper to portion it out. You know what? You get over here. I'll go okay. over here so we have some more room. All uh, right. So once you portion it out, you just um, make a little circle here because it's nice and bite size. My friend Marsha taught me if you put a little uh, mm -hmm. thumb imprint there, mm -hmm. then you have a little place to dollop your sauce. Ah. So then right into the panko breadcrumbs, I have a little bit of olive oil here. I'm just going to put that in there. And we're just going to toast it up on both sides. Now, once you've cooked this, this is ready to go in the freezer. And, and that's it? And then when you warm it, it up, you, you put it, it in cool the oven? First? Exactly. Um, yeah, you let yeah, it cool, cool off, off a little bit. I'm going to make you some more scoops, okay? Sure. And then, um, <laughs> and then um, Teresa can help you with the veggies that she loves so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I see Brussels sprouts. We've well, got two minutes. Well, you know, you can't, you can't um, have me here without me showing you something you can do with vegetables. So I just cut up some butternut squash and some parsnips into little cubes. Mm -hmm. I roasted them in the oven with olive oil and a little garam masala um, to give it a little something different. A little what, Sherry? What did you just say? Garam masala. <laughs> it's a little <laughs> spice. It's got coriander, cumin, it's got cinnamon, okay. and cardamom. It's delicious. And it's a little bit different. I also did some Brussels sprouts because I know everybody loves them, or I'm hoping everybody will learn I to love, love them. I love them. I'll They're try yours. <laughs> very delicious. And then all I do is take some um, rosemary skewers Probably and, pretty. and pull a few off. I roast them up, and then I use a little bit of balsamic glaze. You can buy it already made, or you can make it yourself by just reducing balsamic vinegar down. I'm making a bunch of these because you know this can be popular with everybody here <laughs> in the kitchen. <laughs> now, what did you put on top? Now, this is the tomato jam. All it is is a little bit of olive oil with some sliced garlic. Okay. And you can take some of that crushed red peppers. Sure I can. And you cook that really slow till the olive oil tastes like the garlic and the mm -hmm. red pepper flakes. And then you put in some diced tomato. Okay. And that's all there is to it. So you let that cook down while you're cooking while you're making the risotto cakes, and that's ready to while go as well. While you're drinking wine? Exactly, while you're <laughs> drinking wine. <laughs> and that's freezeable as well. So you have everything all set to go. Anything that comes in a cake form, like a shrimp cake or mm -hmm. crab cake, those all can be frozen. So I like to incorporate them into my mm -hmm. meals in December, and then pop them in the freezer, and I'm always ready to go. Can I try one of those? Absolutely. Of course, the shot. recipe's I'm on our website, so okay. be sure to Excuse get it. Me. <laughs> All you have to do is go to WTNH.com and click on Connecticut Stop. I'm going to try it, too. Oh, and I highly recommend it. Did I make enough it. for you? <laughs> okay. That's perfect. What did, what did you just try? That one? Yeah, it's delightful. Sherry, thanks. You're welcome. All right, coming up next, I'll take you to Executive Nissan mm. in North Haven. It's good, right? Yummy. <laughs> I'll tell you about the 12 Days of Christmas giveaway. That's when Connecticut Style returns. Don't go anywhere.